Finding averages from a frequency table should be fairly straightforward. The mode is the one that comes up the most. So I've got a frequency table. The frequency that comes up the most is 8, but that's not the mode. The modal number of goals is what we're after. Not the number that comes up the most. That indicates that it's two goals that's the mode. The most common number of goals per game is two, not eight. Two. The median requires two steps of working out. To find the median, we do n plus 1 divided by 2. And n is the number of games. Now, these are the goals and these are the frequencies. How do we find the number of games? It's the total frequency. So we add them up, 3 and 5 and 8 and 2 and 1, which gives us 19. So that was 19 games in total. So we do 19 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So we want to find the score in the 10th game. But where's the 10th game? We need to arrange these in order, you know, in running total. So 3, 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 2 is 18, 18 plus 1 is 19. Where would the 10th game be? Well, here's the first three games, then 8. The 10th game would be one of these games, with the third game in here, which means the median goals per game is 2. Because the 10th game would be in this row, so it would be 2. So the answer again is two goals, not eight, not ten, two. We clear all of that because they're only worth a few marks, whereas the mean from a frequency table could be worth up to four marks. To find the mean in primary school, you learn add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are. So we need to add up all the goals and divide by how many games there were. The games, we already know there was 19. But how many goals? To do this, we need to add an extra column. You'd have to do it yourself. If there were three games with no goals, we times. Zero times three, that's still no goals. Five games with one goal, five, five goals. Eight games with two goals, 16 goals. Two games with three goals, six goals. One game with four goals, four goals. So these are all our goals, our total goals for each row, but we need to find the total of all the totals. I call it the total total, this one here. So the total number of goals is all of these added up. 15 and 6 and 6 and 4 make 31. So the mean is the total total, 31, divided by how many games there are, not how many rows there are, not by 5, that's the most common mistake, 31 divided by the total frequency, the total total divided by the total frequency, you'd always get a decimal, that all means you're doing something right, almost always get a decimal. And then they probably tell you to round it. We'll round it to one decimal place. It's approximately equal to 1.6 to 1 dp.